A half moon glowed on the smooth granite boulders, turning them silver. The silence was broken by the ripple of water from the swift black river and the whispers of the trees in the forest beyond. There was a stirring in the shadows, and from all around, lithe dark shapes crept stealthily over the rocks. Unsheathed claws glistened in the moonlight, weary eyes flashed like amber, and then, as if on a silent signal, the creatures leapt at each other, and suddenly the rocks were alive with wrestling, screeching cats. At the center of the frenzy of furs and claws, a massive dark tabby pinned a bracken-colored tom to the ground and drew up his head triumphantly. Oak Hart, the tabby growled. How dare you hunt in our territory? The Sunning Rocks belong to Thunder Clan. After tonight, Tiger Claw, this will just be another River Clan hunting ground, the bracken colored Tom spat back. A warning yowl came from the shore, shrill and anxious. Look out! More River Clan cats are coming! Tiger Claw turned to see sleek, wet bodies sliding out of the water below the rocks. The drenched River Clan warriors bounded silently up the shore and hurled themselves into battle without even stopping to shake the water from their fur. The dark tabby glared down at Oakheart. You may swim like otters, but you and your warriors do not belong in this forest. He drew back his lips and showed his teeth as the cat struggled beneath him. The desperate scream of a Thunder Clan she cat rose above the clamor. A wary River Clan Tom had pinned the brown warrior flat on her belly. Now, he lunged toward her neck with jaws still dripping from his swim across the river. Tiger Claw heard the cry and let go of Oakheart. With a mighty leap, he knocked the enemy warrior away from the she cat. Quick, Mousefur! Run! he ordered, before turning on the River Clan Tom, who had threatened her. Mousefur scrambled to her paws, wincing from a deep gash on her shoulder, and raced away. Behind her, Tiger Claw spat with rage as the River Clan Tom sliced open his nose. Blood blinded him for an instant, but he lunged forward regardless and sank his teeth into the hind leg of his enemy. The River Clan cat squealed and struggled free. Tiger Claw! The yell came from a warrior with a tail as red as fox fur. This is useless. There are too many River Clan warriors. No, Red Tail. Thunder Clan will never be beaten, Tiger Claw yelled back, leaping to Red Tail's side. This is our territory. Blood was welling around his broad black muzzle, and he shook his head impatiently, scattering scarlet drops onto the rocks. Thunder Clan will honor your courage, Tiger Claw, but we cannot afford to lose any more of our warriors, Red Tail urged. Star would never have expected her warriors to fight against these impossible odds. We will have another chance to avenge this defeat. He met Tiger Claw's amber gaze steadily, then reared away and sprang onto a boulder at the edge of the trees. Retreat, Thunder Clan! Retreat! he yelled. At once, his warriors squirmed and struggled away from their opponents, spitting and snarling. They backed toward Redtail. For a heartbeat, the River Clan cats looked confused. Was this battle so easily won? Then Oakheart yelled a jubilant cry. As soon as they heard him, the River Clan warriors raised their voices and joined their deputy in caterwauling their victory. Redtail looked down at his warriors. With a flick of his tail, he gave the signal, and the Thunder Clan cats dived down to the far side of the Sunning Rocks, then disappeared into the trees. Tiger Claw followed last. He hesitated at the edge of the forest and glanced back at the bloodstained battlefield. His face was grim, and his eyes furious slits. Then he leapt after his clan into the silent forest. In a deserted clearing, an old gray she cat sat alone staring up as the clear night sky shone around her. On all around her, in the shadows, she could hear the breathing and stirrings of sleeping cats. A small tortoise shell she cat emerged from a dark corner, her paw steps quick and soundless. The gray cat dipped her head in greeting. How is mouse fur? she mewed. Her wounds are deep, blue star, answered the tortoise shell, settling herself onto the ground. But she is young and strong. She will heal quickly. And the others, they will all recover too. Loosed our side. We are lucky to have not lost any of our warriors this time. You are a gifted medicine cat, Spotted Leaf. She tilted her head again and studied the stars. I am deeply troubled by tonight's defeat. ThunderClan has not been beaten on its own territory since I became leader, she murmured. These are difficult times for our clan. The season of New Leap is late and there have been fewer kits. ThunderClan needs more warriors if it is to survive. 
But the year is only just beginning, Spot and Leaf pointed out calmly. There will be more kids once Greenleaf comes. The gray cat twitched her broad shoulders. Perhaps. But training our young to be warriors takes time. If ThunderClan is to defend its territory, it must have new warriors as soon as possible. Are you asking Star Clan for answers? Mewed Spotted Leaf gently, following Blue Star's gaze, staring at the swath of stars glittering in the dark sky. It is times like this that we need the words of our ancient ancestors to guide us. Has Star Clan spoken to you? Blue Star asked. Not for some moons, Blue Star. Suddenly, a shooting star blazed over the treetops. Spotted Leaf's tail twitched and the fur along her spine bristled. Blue Star's ears perked but she remained silent as Spotted Leaf continued to gaze upward. After a few moments, Spotted Leaf lowered her head, and she turned to Blue Star. It was a message from Star Clan, she murmured. A distant look came into her eyes. Fire alone can save our clan. Fire, Blue Star echoed. But fire is feared by all the clans. How can it save us? Spotted Leaf shook her head. I do not know, she admitted. But this is the message Star Clan has chosen to share with me. The Thunder Clan leader fixed her clear blue eyes on the medicine cat. You have never been wrong before, Spotted Leaf, she mewed. If Star Clan has spoken, then it must be so. Fire will save our clan. <laughs>